Hello Leo, welcome to your November 2019 reading. I hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you my lovely Leos. It's a reading for Leo Sun, Rising and Moon sign. Also listen to your Rising sign and Moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun sign will. It also adds layers to your reading as I say. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading that is going to be significant to you. Um, I hope you on your journey. This is a general reading. I'd like to thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting on my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I do post new videos um, for you. So let's have a look at what's going on with you, Leo, for November. I, you know, shuffling the cards and meditating on you as a collective, I just felt really. unmotivated that energy was coming through so what's going on here that it you know in unmotivated that's not even the right word I just felt stuck okay I feel I just get this energy of of this stuckness um, that's around you it's sort of a heavy sort of um, energy that's there in let's move forward let's do this there's this you know where's that motivation that is always there for Leo it's always there um, to get things done get you know get things under control organize things and get moving with things there's that sort of energy that I'm used to and I just felt really flat so if you're feeling that way, if you're feeling that way, why is it? What's going on there? What are we needing to do to move that energy through? Um, it's really uh, interesting. It's interesting. I get a sense of for, not for all of you, but for some of you, things just haven't been working out for you. You have been dealt a bit of a tough blow um, and it's just hard for you to get that motivation back, to get yourself back on track, to get that those things moving for you and getting that sense of direction happening for you. Um, and if, if you're a Leo that that fits for, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is things that are going to start moving for you um, coming up around you. But I just feel like there's, a bit of, there's some heartache, there's, some, there's something that's gone on with some of you, not all of you. There's some, just, this is, this is, I feel like I'm talking to um, a, a specific section of Leo's, you know, that when I say this. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on in November, my lovely Leos. You've got um, what you're coming from, you know, you've got the, the three of pentacles here. So there has been work, it has been busy, things have been coming to you. Um, you've been rewarded for your efforts, rewarded for your work. There's some success and accolades coming to you through work, through your work, um, which is going to your finances are about to turn around. Your, your finances are going to turn around. Your fin you, so for those of you that have been struggling with finances, been thinking, well, wh where is it going to come from? Finances are going to start turning around. There's work there. There's work coming for you. There's work there for you, which is going to generate more income, um, and there's going to be success with that because that's where you're um, needing to. That it's the universe coming in. It's the it's source. It's the universe. It's the divine and the divine source, God, whatever it is for you that's coming in and supporting you and giving to you um, a reward for your efforts. So there's a financial turnaround coming for you as well. So I really like that. I really like that. Um, I feel really scattered, Leo. So, you know, this energy needs to be reined in. It needs to be brought in and focused. 
It needs to be brought in and focused and I feel like you will achieve that. For those of you that are not feeling that, you, that will happen, that will unfold for you. You've also got the Prince of Pentacles. This is about moving forward in a career, in a job, in an organisation. Is there a promotion, a new job? Um, something's changing around how you work, when you work. Um, what sort of income you're generating there's some sort of change coming here it's mo and moving forward it's looking at what you've got what you do on a practical level and how that can be increased but I feel like for uh, many of you there's going to be an increase in finances coming for you in November there's been some sort of shift there's been some sort of change that has happened in uh, November to bring about a change in your finances for the better a change for the better because it's you know you've also got the eight of pentacles here so that tells me that there is work for you so it's very money oriented in the beginning of November it's very money driven around you so there is work for you so for those of you that are starting a new business or a new project or a promotion um, some new something new that you're starting um, there is success around that there is you're going to be very busy you're going to be very busy um, but it's going to be good for you it's going to bring in the changes that you're seeking it is going to bring changes in for you um, but I feel like a lot of you're going to be burning the midnight oil I feel like a lot of you are going to be really working late working long hours um, and doing it willingly, doing it willingly because you can see the the shift in energy. You can see the what the, the positive things that this change is going to bring you. I really like that. I really like that. You've also got the Prince of Swords and it's about... There is change coming. There's change coming for you, Leo. In, in November, things are going to start being put in place for change to happen. And it's about really having the courage to move forward with this, having the courage to embrace change. I feel like a lot of you aren't going to quite understand the change that's coming in around you yet. But it's about having faith and it's about moving forward, always moving forward. Have the courage to go for that job interview. Have the courage to go for that promotion. Have the courage to go and speak out about having a, a pay increase um, because of the work that you're doing um, at the, it, that's getting results uh, because that's going to be good for you. It's going to give you the results that you're seeking, um, the changes that for those of you that are going to bring changes in on a domestic level, uh, family level, um, personal level, that's also going to be good. I feel like there's things that are not are unspoken that need to be cleared, that need to be spoken about. It's about putting your thoughts forward. How do you want to move forward in, uh, in the relationship, in the family? Uh, what changes would you like to see? What changes would you like to have happen and put in place? Uh, because it, there is there are choices and decisions coming up for you uh, about that to be made. So it's almost like I want to say to you, you've sat back and just sort of accepted things are the way they are and I just need to, to, to get on with it. But November is going to be a time where it's going to shine a light on a particular aspect, a particular part of your life. A particular sector of your life that you're going to think well now it's time to, to for me to voice my opinion it's about, um, time for me to to say what I think it's about t it's time for me to bring in the changes that I'm needing to bring in um, because that's also going to lead to decisions choices and decisions uh, it's almost like yes you'll say you, you decide to say something and then that triggers uh, a reaction and you then there's choices and decisions to be made from that so which way which path do you want to follow which direction do you want to move in are you happy for the status quo or do you want to bring in change and if you bring in change what sort of change is that going to bring uh, it's it's a dominoes effect okay so are you are you prepared to embrace complete change if, if that's what is going to happen, if that's the change that it's going to bring in. Really interesting reading for you, Leo. Um, there's going to be some, some stuff that goes down for you this month, stuff that goes down for you, decisions that you're going to need to make because you're 
It's your awakening. That's what I'm hearing from my guides. It's your awakening this month. It's like, take the rose-coloured glasses off, you know, and what, what's happening with my life? Is it going in the direction that I want it to go in? Um, am, am I happy with the way things are or do I need to make some changes to also make me comfortable and make me happy with the direction that I'm taking? And that's the sort of self-talk that you're going to be having. Financially, you're going to be very, very, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine financially. I feel like you've got that foundation that foundation there because there's work there and if you're not working if you're retired then there is that foundation of finances as well then what changes do you want to bring into your life what do you want to have happen you've also got the two of pentacles which to me is any two is about balance it's about juggling it's about juggling a few things it's about juggling two things you know or more uh, it's about finding that balance and sometimes it's about finding that personal balance within you find re-establishing that balance because you've got the two of wands as well so you know balance is going to be really important for you in the month of November it's about finding that being centered finding that balance so you can make choices and decisions but also balancing it can be for some of you balancing two very strong personalities and finding the happy medium balancing two two lines of two jobs while you transition from one to the other balancing study and work balancing your family life there's 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 something that you're juggling here and some of you are juggling finances because of this transition that you're going to make. You're going to, well, am I going to be okay? Can I, you know, how am I going to be financially? And, and it's, it's moving things from one area, one place to another. Moving things around, counting things up, working out your finances for some of you. That's really interesting. It's different for all of you, but it's that energy nonetheless. So as you, my lovely Leos, my strong, wonderful Leos move through the month of November. Um, it, the changes that you're going to bring, the balance that you're going to need, it, it's about really going within. I feel like it's not about anybody else giving you the answers. It's about you exploring the self and you looking at yourself, going within and finding out what changes are going to suit you, what are going to be good for you, what are you seeking, what and it's about self-reflection it's about because you know I feel like November for you is this month of transition it's this month of transition and it's nothing that anybody can decide for you it's something you need to decide yourself and the hermit is about spiritual exploration it's about set, being centered it's about going within listening to that inner voice listening to your body um, as you want to make decisions and choices your body our bodies speak to us when you're making something that you know is not right for you, your body screams out at you. It's about being centered and really being aware of how your body reacts to decisions that you're going to make. So it really is also about from the middle third week of November to really center yourself, to really find some have some time out from the hustle and bustle and the busyness of life and work and routine. Really extract yourself from that. Find yourself a quiet place where you can really just process your thoughts so that you have clarity of where you're headed and what, you, what changes you're bringing in and what, uh, what you want to do. What's your next move? Okay, what's your next move? Because you've also got the Eight of Cups here. And my lovely Leos, there's something that you're walking away from. There's a situation that you're walking away from. There's a way of thinking that you're walking away from. There's a way of behaving that you're walking away from. There's the past, something that's happened in the past that you're leaving behind and walking away from because it's not something you can take with you into this new beginning into this new stage um, so it's about you know and I feel like you're prepared to you, you're ready to do this you're ready to to do this you're ready to walk walk away leave the past in the past 
and you're happy to do that because there's there's new things you can see new things ahead for you um, and so it's about releasing whatever it is for you in the past it's cycles what keeps you what keeps you repeating the same cycles in your life the same sort of partner that you keep attracting the um, behaviors that you have that keep getting the same results and it's time to change those results it's past hurts and fears that you're leaving behind some of you might be leaving behind an old job that's no longer suiting you but you're ready to do this you're ready to explore and move forward into the future and explore that and explore that and gee whiz that stands you in good stead because you've got the ten of cups and so when you do that it offers for you everything that you have hoped that your decisions would would everywhere that you thought your decisions would take you that your decisions and choices that you're going to make are going to take you where you wanted to go it's going to give you the results that you are seeking it's going to give you inner peace satisfaction harmony peace joy it is going to bring you those things and you're going to start feeling that by the end of November the last week of November you're going to feel a lifting of that energy because that energy is there for you to be aware of it so that you can release it and say well that's enough I don't want that anymore this is what I'm working towards and it, there are greener pastures there is a light at the end of the proverbial tunnel um, there is everything that you're hoping to achieve everything that you've wanted it's going to unfold for you uh, where there is security and happiness and contentment that's where you're headed that's what's coming up for you so by releasing the past you herald in and welcome the future which is really bright and you're going to start seeing results almost instantly I want to say to you Leos almost instantly almost instantly and your final card here is the king of wands which can be male or female um, Aries Leo Sagittarius well this is you as well but if it's someone it can be male or female someone that's around you that is Aries Aries Leo Sagittarius person that is really supportive that is strong that is in control um, and is going to be there moving forward stand by your side they're going to be a tremendous force a tremendous support for you um, someone to lean on it's good help to, carrying you into December okay um, I think that's really good for those of you where this is you this is you by the end of November you're going to be in a really good place you're going to be in a really confident strong self-assured place back to your usual self back to yourself but a new self a new understanding of what you're wanting a new understanding of where you're going a new understanding of what you want to achieve and what you want to have unfold for you a redefinition of your future is what's there for you and you're going to be in a position of this is what I want and this is what's going to unfold for me this is what's going to happen so you're back in control you're back in the driver's seat I really like that I really really like that so let's have a look at what the angels have to say for you my lovely Leos for November okay let's see parking angel that's funny isn't it parking angel but you know I get with that you know parking angel it's about you know it's like when you you want a car space and you ask your angels I'd like a car space on this and you need to be very specific about where you want your car space because they'll give you one but if you're not specific you won't you won't get it exactly where you want it so you have to be specific you have to choose your words wisely and so what this speaks to me of is what you're creating in November is that you need to be very clear there needs to be clarity of where you're going because vehicles cars are our body our, it, it, it's, a, it's directional and so you need to be clear about the direction you're moving in and you need to be clear about what you're asking your angels source the universe guides God whatever it is for you be very clear about what you're asking for because it will be there it will be delivered to you 
but there needs to be clarity. So that's where the self-reflection comes in because there needs to be clarity about clear thinking about what you want and where you're headed. So I really like that. Let's have a look at the angels of abundance. So let's ha see what's happening with you financially. And I don't feel like there's much to worry about on that score. Oh, there it is. Ah, release resentment about money. Release resentment about money. Let's have a look. Let me put my glasses on so I can read this to you. Okay. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world. And this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities, which is what's coming to you. And again, this is about thinking clearly. It's about having that clarity. Having that clarity, knowing what you want, knowing how you want to move forward. Releasing past behaviours, past thoughts, past cycles. Release those so that what you are wanting will come to you. And it certainly will come to you. It certainly will come to you. I lo like that a lot. Let's have a look at love, the heart. Let's have a look at the heart chakra. This can be for you, self-love, self-appreciation, self-worth. It can be someone in your life. It can be this Sagittarius, this, this one person, male or female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius around you. Ah, look, this is interesting. This is release. This is really interesting, Leo, because this is really what's coming through for um, November for you. Release, 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 release. So it's about re-evaluation. It's about releasing anything that's standing in your way, is blocking you, is preventing you from moving forward because it is a time for you to move forward and December will see you moving forward and moving forward into 2020. So this is your final opportunity to release anything that has not already been released. Any last little bits that need to be moved on need to be moved on so that you can embrace your future, that you can embrace December and 2020 and move into the new year with, with abundance, with joy and with clarity of thought. So I hope that this reading helps you, my lovely Leos. Stay strong because you are and you can, you can um, clarify and clear out anything that is no longer significant and relevant in your life. I wish you many blessings. If you would like to book a private reading, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there that's going to be specific to you. I wish you many blessings, my lovely Leos, till next month.